out at our local Goodwill. As you can tell, my passenger seat is empty. Kayla is feeling a slightly under the weather, so she didn't want to come out thrifting. And uh, so she's gonna meet me y'all. So that ain't too bad though. So we're gonna go in here, again, this is the same Goodwill that we got word that are putting out over 200 new items a day. I don't know if that's true. I'll tell you what, yesterday, is when we found that really good score on like the Jordans and the Adidas. So I'm thinking that we're gonna go in here and this place is gonna be packed full of new items. Let's go see what they got. Right up the whip, rip another pair of Welco boots. Welco boots are really, really good. We just sold a pair of these for 49 bucks. Let's see what else they got here. I'm telling they were putting out tons. Flex walk system 500. No, mm, not so good there. Sperry's. Probably go over to the other shoe area. But it ain't too bad off the bat. Looks like the Gore Tex on the inside too, which are nice. What are these? Oh, they're rubber boots. Not so good. Our Goodwill has different areas, like over there, mostly men's shoes. And then over here, kind of like a mix between women's and men's. And in our area, you can really make a lot of money in shoes because the shoes are still $6.99 and they hardly ever price them up. So it's always good to kind of know your shoes because you can really find some good ones. All right, right place, right time there. They were just putting stuff out and I grabbed, didn't even have the camera on. I grabbed the Super S Adams idea um golf clubs and it's the entire set which is nice and actually there's also hybrids in here and these aren't super expensive because they're the a3s but they're still not bad they're still going to probably go for like 30 40 bucks a piece maybe 20 dollars a piece so you're talking hundreds of bucks right there so that pretty good so the Goodwill is jamming early in the morning, so they got the music up, which means I have to do a little voiceover here. That's the Robo Grip twist thing. It's an as seen on TV, so usually I don't buy those because a lot of times you get vero'd on eBay for that, which means they take your listings down. That thing's really cool. I think it's a candle holder, but I think it's missing one of the slides. I would have bought these 100%, but they were asking $3.99 a piece for those bookends. I was hoping they would be $3.99 for the actual set, but for seven bucks, they probably would only go for $20, but they were solid brass. This right here, I want to go over Egyptian cotton linens. These right here, I think are like 150 or 250 count right there. And I did look these up. They are listed super high, 30, 40, 50 dollars, but none of them really sold. So always remember to look for the solds versus the actual ones listed. But do be on the lookout for certain Egyptian cotton linen sheets or sets because some of these things can go well over like three to four to five hundred dollars. So what I do is I always go onto eBay and I look at the highest things listed to sold and then gain knowledge from that. This is like a paper mache cap. You can tell it's paper mache and like handmade. I think that thing is well worth a dollar ninety nine. People love cats. Well, there's a ceramic cat down here. Let's see what Google Lens tells me about this one. Uh, want a vintage large porcelain kitty cat, one hundred fifty five dollars, ten bucks, one hundred. Nothing has that face. 50. There it is right there. 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 bucks though with the shipping. That's not a sold comp. That's a little bit. It's too much. It's only $2. Um, it's cracked right there on the bottom. All right, leave that one behind. With the paper mache cat. Come on. That thing is legit. Who, like, who wants one of these? Everybody don't have to feed it. Good to go. This thing is neat, but it's missing the slide, I think. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, there should be like a slide in there that you would move the candle up, maybe? Because if not, the, it would just burn down inside that hole. But, we have to leave it behind. Some of these, if they're wood, are worth some decent money. That one's not, not so good. This thing is a Kenmore Dutch oven. It's like an enameled metal I've never seen. Uh... Kenmore make that before. Kenmore is not a terrible brand. Let's see what it's worth. 55 new, 30, 69 free shipping for that same color. Actually, that's a different color. Doesn't look like they sell. The La Quazes obviously sell really well. That's weird that the, yeah, it doesn't appear that the 
Kenmore sell that good? These things right here, I wish they were a little bit cheaper. Like maybe 50 cents I'd buy them because it looks like they sell for like a couple bucks. But they want a dollar, so there's not too much to really make. They're um, batteries for hearing aids, I'm guessing. There's a ton of them, but they don't really sell all that well for a dollar. Like I think for a dollar. What in the world is this thing? What are, it's got like a design at the bottom. That is, it definitely sits this way. Oh, it's probably just an end table for outside. I was thinking it was like a stove pipe or something. Probably not though. Ooh, what do we got here? Rock? How many words can we make? Rook? Rookie? Oh, I can't make rookie. That'd be me as a reseller. <laughs> Can make rock. Hmm. Maybe rock and roll? I don't know. We'll keep it at that. So not a bad day already at the Goodwills. Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, when you find, start finding good golf clubs, again, right place, right time. They literally brought those out, sat them right in front of me, and I bought them all. We're gonna go over to actually see yes real quick to pick up Kayla some medicine, and then we're gonna hit a couple more Goodwills. Out at our second stop, Goodwill. And uh, who else knows like other resellers' cars? Because I, I, I have a pretty good idea who's already in here. I think there's four resellers in here because I know your vehicles. And it's not so much competition. I just like to know who's in the Goodwill before I get in there. And uh, we're gonna go in here and see what we can find a flip online for a profit. Mr. Christmas. Hmm. This thing is too cool. Look at this. Who owns a, was it a boxer? Who owns a boxer? If you want a boxer bobblehead, I got one now. It's like resin. But I mean, I feel like this is too cool to leave behind for only $2.99. That's about 15 bucks right there. This will definitely be on an eBay store as soon as I get home because that is too funny. Yes, you're gonna go on eBay. No, you don't want to go on eBay? Well, you're going to. I always check out the Christmas stuff right after Christmas because you just, then you never know what they're going to put out. And a lot of times they, um, they put stuff for a lot cheaper now, obviously, because they want it gone. So you just got to check everything to make sure there's not like a hidden gem in here. I'm not seeing anything, but you just never know. these guys we've learned a lot over this Christmas about some uh, ornaments and everything so we're definitely going to be looking for a lot more There's a whole bunch of uh, magnets Rose Island six bucks tons of magnets magnets don't really sell that well for us and again I don't think we've ever actually tried to sell a whole bunch of magnets there's a Sony is this the same one that's been in here that actually looks like a nicer one didn't have the bolts though, and the bolt is broken. Oh, yep. I'm gonna check these. They should have interior, like if you didn't know this thing, you would notice that that was broken and it's basically worthless at that point. So, that's no good. What is this thing? I think it has the key with it? No. That's a rare. Open? No. Don't want to open. There you are. Pro line manual weather tech. Some of these things are worth a buttload of money. Let me uh, look this bad boy up. I don't know. It's the Weathermatic Pro Line PL 1600 lawn sprinkler box, 16 zone, sold for 90 bucks pre owned. Free shipping. The same exact one with n no controller. Okay, so that does, that's missing this part. That's sold for forty dollars free shipping. How much? Oh, I don't know, six bucks for it. Yeah, that's worth a shot for sure. Who remembers the time I found a whole bunch of Cutco's in here? It's like I think ten, I think Cutco spoons. Somebody donated. 
not so much luck today. This actually looks like our little mugs. I was like, did somebody buy one of our mugs and donate it to the Goodwill? How funny would that be? But if you like these type of mugs, these are the ceramic nice um, heavy duty mugs. We have some in our booth that says Beer Thrift Machine looks just like this. So if you're interested, let us know. We'll put a couple on Etsy too. Is that Fiesta wear? No. Mug life. Mugs gotta be super desirable now. Kinda like those Stanley uh, Starbucks mugs that people are going crazy for on Target. Man, there's like fights breaking out for them things. A little old trinket dish for a ceramic hand painted, it looks like. It looks pretty nice. What is that? Anything? Y'all see anything? There's some, I think it was that like cranberry pyrex down there. Pots and pans look a little thin. Not seeing much. This is a gigantic wine glass. Who, who, who's, who's using this thing? Probably, probably not so good. We didn't get a whole bunch, but we got this guy right here, which honestly I think was well worth the trip. And uh, we're gonna go to, I think, three more Goodwills or two more Goodwills, so. What do you think about that? You like that idea? Oh yeah. So as I travel around, I put the little bobblehead in a seatbelt. I mean, I feel like it, there's no other way to do it, right? But I do wanna go ahead and uh, I know the new year came up and people are trying to figure out how to cut costs and everything. We have switched over to GyroPack. It's a poly mail company that they really do have the cheapest prices on their poly bags. They have switched it up a little bit. You only get 10% off your first order when it comes to using our code but if you use our code we do get a little bit of that also so we do appreciate it. again that's gyro pack there will be a link down below so a couple categories that we have definitely expanded on in the year 2023 and definitely going to expand more in 2024 is one category is handbags. We never used to, Kayla would pick up purses here and there, but now we actually target this. I didn't realize the money that was in certain handbags, like there's L.L. Bean ones, there's certain book bags that are worth a whole bunch of money, obviously certain purses that are worth over $100. And in 2023, we did actually pretty good at the end, start targeting this and we will definitely be looking for more handbags most of the handbags that we buy though we do sell on our whatnot show there, there'll be three shows in january and we also do an all like an all hat show and stuff like that on whatnot so if you want to be part of that there will be a link down below ending this video a little bit differently is that we're actually at the storage unit this is one of our storage units if you uh, I've been following us around, you know that we kind of have like two storage units. We used to have a really big storage unit that we downsized into this one. Then we also have the other one across there. They just, again, raised the rates on storage units, which are super, super high nowadays. But what we do now is it's a little bit different when it comes to this. Like you saw me pick up a whole bunch of golf clubs. So there are the golf clubs right there. And we, I would usually go ahead and just go home and list all of these right now. But I have found that the fastest way to list things is when you list like items. So right now I'm working on a whole bunch of clothing we just picked up. So golf clubs, we kind of throw a wrench into that because I'm hanging stuff, I'm measuring the items and everything like that. So what I do is, is I bring them back over here and then like right here are unlisted golf clubs. That is not even a day's work really at this point. And so when it gets up to probably about 50 golf clubs, so I can probably do 50 in a day, is what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and go back home clean them and get them ready to go ahead and uh list them all so that's a big difference if you want more like stuff that has to do with how we run this business if you're thinking about going full-time or just part-time we have another channel called the flip squad that goes through all of that stuff tips and tricks what is actually selling because this channel is just us picking it up and we don't really tell you when it sells when it you know how much it sells for where it sells what platform it sells on that is all on our other channel the flip squad so if you want to go over there and then figure out if you want to do this or not uh, just there's money to be had is what I'm saying so I do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video and you know I will always get you on the next one